So the, the, the next plenary is, or plenary is all about global business. And it's interesting in the survey we did amongst 15,000 people, there are certain things about global business that are seen to be good and certain things about global business that are seen to be very bad. And I think you know, one of the things that you guys can help play a key role in is how we make global business more socially responsible. And now we are going to introduce the councillors onto the stage. Are you going to start, I'll do that. Okay, so the first uh, councillor is Elio Leonichetti. Um, Elio, uh, firstly, deserves a big round of applause because all the music you've been hearing from Coldplay or from Corrine uh, uh, Bailey Ray uh, last night is all EMI music, which Elio contributed. So that's a, a first point to give him a round of applause. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so Elio is the global CEO of EMI. Prior to that, he was the chief executive of Europe for Reki Benkiza. He's lived and worked in about seven, eight different countries around the world. He's Italian originally, speaks about four languages, um, and is a terrific guy and somebody who really understands global business. So welcome to Elio. And he's gorgeous. And now, Graham Sweeney, who's the chairman of the Advisory Council of the European Technology Platform for Zero Emission Fossil Fuels, power, fossil fuels and power plants. He's worked in Egypt, Turkey, and Australia, and Oman. He is a member of the Glen Eagles Dialogue for Project Steering Board and the UK Energy Research Partnership. So, please come up, Graham. Hi, Graham. Welcome. Next up is Benita Matowska. She's uh, head of uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week. She's building a worldwide movement of entrepreneurial people in more than 80 countries, putting on 25,000 events to engage people. Um, her family uh, apparently are a family of ukulele players. And in her, her <laughs> spare time, she writes comic poetry. So please welcome her to the stage. <laughs> you haven't brought your ukulele. <laughs> Welcome. And now the chairman of Alpha International, the chairman of Lazard International, born in South Africa, reading backwards from the bottom, and it's Ken Costa, who you know is a fierce timekeeper. Ken. <laughs> you have a very important role you performed this morning for us. Thank you very much. And then we have Oswald Byland. He's the founder and chairman of Zentio, which is a company specializing on, on advising businesses how they can become carbon neutral and actually operate and work in the new low carbon economy. He's also the chairman and founder of the Performance Theater, which examines solutions to problems being faced by businesses in the next three to six years. And he serves as an expert commentator for the Harvard Business Review Green Initiative. So welcome to him. And those of you who've been looking on the One Young World website at the bridge will know that the Performance Theatre is, the, um, is the, the organization that is looking after the bridge. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. But that's Oswald, and we're very grateful to him for all of his help. And coming up onto the stage next is Dr. Santa Nudas, who is the founder and chairman of Transwitch Corporation in the United States. Dr. Das. Okay, so if we go to the um, global consultation process 10-point result chart um, and global business and its role in shaping society. So very important there if you look at what Offed are doing. One of the things that, you got, that the process told us about was that there is a belief among young people around the world that global business should be playing a greater role in the alleviation of poverty. But if you look there, multinational corporations must behave responsibly and ethically. The strongly agree and agree there is absolutely one of the highest, is almost at 90%, so even higher than the top score box on what we looked at at an environment and um, the, 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 re the relationship between religion and peace. Um, I think this is an obvious thing that your age group would say that global businesses should behave ethically and responsibly. I guess the question is whether they do or not, and I know you have very strong views on that. So that's from the GCP, David, resolution. 
I mean, I think just one of the interesting things looking at that is, when we talked about this kind of dichotomy is that there's the same number of people disagreeing with the fact that global business destroys local markets who disagree with the fact that, that global business is good for creating jobs. So you know, it's sort of this, on the one hand, they're seen to be destroying local markets. On the other hand, they're providing jobs and raising the standard of living. And I think you know, it shows that global business can be good and bad. And what we need to do is make it more socially responsible. So on, on that, as a background, uh, in the belief that multinational corporations have a fundamental responsibility to behave ethically, we call upon global businesses to define and act on their role in the fight against poverty. So that is the draft resolution that you're going to vote on after you've heard from uh, the, the delegates. And again, it was drafted by Ian Golden of the 21st Century School at Oxford. And with relation to the Millennium Development Goals, the I've lost. Is that me or? Yes, you're back. Delegates, delegates will use their resources to engage global businesses in finding solutions to support the primary UN Millennium Development Goal. Goal number one, the eradication of poverty and hunger. So we are... Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Global business is constantly looking to the future and the voices of young people are vital in this area. You know this. Drawing attention to the issue of extreme poverty and showing how corporate influence can be part of the solution. You will help secure the future without poverty. And so now we'd like to ask uh, the delegates to come on stage. I think you know the formula now. They then get introduced by our esteemed uh, councillors. And to the delegates who are coming on, just one word if you can try and keep your... Come on, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Good luck, girls. So just before you introduce, if you could try and keep your comments tight, that means we have more time uh, for people from the audience to actually contribute as well. So. We'll be fine because Ken's going to timekeep, aren't you? I know, Ken? We've, got, we've got Mr. Timekeeper on stage. He'll push <laughs> you off. So over to you guys.